Well, hey guys, happy day, happy day. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Today we are not cooking. No, we are not. As you saw on the title, we have decided to go into something that we have never done before, ever, really. We are hatching eggs. So on the 7th of March, April, today's April, <laughs> it is April, on the 7th of April, our very good friend and volunteer at the farm gave us some eggs that, um, from hens that we had given her a couple years ago because she didn't have any and we had a lot. So we gave her four and they have been super healthy. They've been exposed to all sorts of everything and they've always stayed alive. So. Uh, she gave us some eggs and said, here you go. And we already have plenty of eggs in the refrigerator. So I said, you know what? Let's try hatching these things. She's got two beautiful roosters. So let's see what we can do. So we did. So I went on to Amazon really quick because she had already had them in a um, container on her counter for like two days. So I went on to Amazon really quick and I bought an incubator. And the incubator that I have, and I'll turn this around to show you. Um, it was able to get to be overnight and it is not the most ideal incubator that everybody else talks about or is amazing, but it had mediocre reviews and we figured we'd give it a shot and it could get here overnight. So this is what we have. Okay. So this is our incubator. It is a household intelligent incubator. It is a cheapo cheapo. Trust me. It is a cheapo cheapo. Um, this is the 18 egg version and we bought a additional thermometer hygrometer in there um, and as you can see it's 46 percent humidity at 99.6 degrees even when this says it's 100 so um we bought this because it could get here overnight and as you notice we have two little legs <laughs> it comes with these little cups so you can have water and it's supposed to automatically that little stick thing that's in there, that, that right there, um, is supposed to automatically put in the appropriate um, humidity. But we watched a bunch of videos and um, we decided to go from the original traditional method, which is to keep the humidity kind of at um, 50 to 60% to um, a dry hatch method. So we decided to do that today. So we did some candling of all of the eggs and I will show you what we found. We did this yesterday. Kind of neat. Um, that was, well, depending on how you want to count your days, they say sometimes if the chicken lays the egg in the afternoon and you grab it and you put it in the incubator that afternoon, 
the next day is day one or um hold on <laughs> i have a scanner i had to turn it down um or if it's like early in the morning and you put it in the incubator that day that is day one so we ate, these are already on the counter for like two to three days so we're just gonna put them in the incubator and count it as day one and go from there so we're gonna use the method of candling to kind of gauge us as to where this chick's development is um there's a fantastic website that we got off of google bard which is an ai system and um we asked it a whole bunch of questions as to you know what to expect where should our humidity be how many days what does it look like what happens if the humidity is too high what happens if the temperature is too low i mean what kind of defects do you get what kind of problems are we expecting so we had a really long conversation with gemini and um i'll put in the comments the link that gemini gave us that linked over to a website that was very very good on letting us know the development of the chicks inside the egg every single solitary day for 21 days so day 18 is a lockdown day so that means and we already kind of sort of knew this already but um you have to turn the eggs this one will turn eggs once every two hours you're ideally turning eggs halfway at least once every six so that's why I, I wanted to have one that um, did an automatic turner. So this automatically turns a quarter of the way every two hours, which is nice because um, I don't have to worry about it. And then on lockdown day, we take this little, um, that little orange tray, we take that out and that basically will lock down and it won't turn. So that way the egg, the chick is already in the position for hatching on day 18. So 18, 19, or 18, 19, 20, and then those last three days, nothing happens. All the development still keeps on going on for like lungs and scales and feathers and all digestive systems is, are starting to finalize. Um, and that way there's no movement. And then the chick hatches. So it's really kind of neat. Um, so we decided that the dry hatch method and we are going to, I think we only have two that aren't viable. I'm not really sure. So it could be that those ones were there like brand new and they were the ones that were laid relatively quickly before we got them and threw them in there. So it's like technically day two and the other ones are a little bit farther along. We don't know, but we're going to candle on day three, which was the other day, technically, I don't know, depending on how you count it, day 10 and Day 18, which I'm not really sure if I want to do 18 because they always say don't move them too much on the 18th day, but definitely on day 10. And we're going to take a whole new set of pictures and do another little update video for you to show you the growth and if we've had any uh, fatalities or whatever and what problems that we ran into. So we are going to be creating a new playlist called Chick Hatching. <laughs> so follow us along as we go through this process of our very, very first chick hatching on the farm. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. <laughs>